Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM 2 with Reinstein. Uh, in this episode I've got a number of cool new things to show you, but before we go any further, I'm gonna look at this in here. Now, we can unlock some more stuff in the Proving Ground, so I'm kinda thinking... Maybe we could go for some experimental ammo, or a plasma grenade could be good. Spider suit would be awesome. Um, what does an exosuit do? If we combine the power-assisted armor prototypes we've been working on with some of the advent plating we've recovered, we could develop a heavy variant of our plated armor. More importantly, we might be able to add a heavy weapon mount directly to the armor. Ooh, I'm going for that. Exosuit. Sweet. All right. So that's one thing. Uh, other things that I need to show you are we've now got loads more supplies because I went over to Chile and I've made contact with those. I gathered some supplies that were there too. Loads of our soldiers are now healed, so it might be prudent to go and invade that facility or it might be prudent to make contact elsewhere. Not exactly sure right now. There's some more supplies there. Let's perhaps think about spending our money. So, if I show you what we've now got. We've now got this overdrive serum, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've unlocked the fusion blade, which looks pretty badass. 180 supplies, and we can give that to our rangers. Uh, so, I don't know whether to spend some money on that or not. That'll give us 317 supplies. <sighs> See, that has the ability of setting fire to the enemy. Uh, a mag pistol. Sure, you know I'm going to go for that, because then that will make the pistol of our snipers a lot more powerful. Um, and I am building the defense matrix as well. That will help in preventing a ground assault from, um, well, on our spaceship. Or, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to heal faster defense here. Now yeah, defense matrix now built. Sweet. Let's take a look at this. I've not seen this cutscene. Okay, that looks pretty cool. So, upgrade. What happens if I upgrade it? Quad turrets. Wow. Insufficient power there. Uh, so, I guess we should get more power. We do need to unlock some of this. Let's go to the exposed power coil. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems. But we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. Wow, 30 days! Holy crap. What about this? Can we excavate this? No, everybody's busy. Okay, let's get out of here then. And let me just check a look at my soldiers. My soldiers, my soldiers. Yeah, nearly everyone's back. Awesome. And can we build any different grenades or anything? We've got a battle scanner. That might be handy. Let's get a battle scanner. Mimic Beacon could come in immensely helpful. Smoke Grenade, Defensive Boost, Overdrive Serum, I'm going to leave that. So now I'm going to get the Fusion Blade, I think. That'll be OP on our uh, Rangers. So, back to the bridge. And heal faster. Now we have targets. Ooh, what do we got? 88 Intel. That'll reduce retaliation counter by two weeks. Uh, we can get an engineer here, and that counters a hidden event. That's only moderate. That could be quite a good one to do. Or this one where we could get a scientist. Ah, and that counters the dark event major breakthrough. Hack the workstation in advent. I'm going to go for that, definitely. Right. I think we're heading towards the business end of the playthrough. So I'm trying to get all my soldiers back and fit and ready to kick some ass. Oh, you know what we should have done? Spent some money increasing our squad size. Oh well, not to worry. Right, I'm just going to remove everyone and see who it would be best to take with us. So, Lizzie is definitely our best uh, sniper. Can we do anything to her to make her better? Weapon upgrade. Ooh, superior stock. Missed shots do damage. Well, her gun is already OP as heck, so I'm going to save that upgrade for someone else. Ah, uh, Lord Cucumber, you're in, mate. There we go. So you can have a Skulljack, which might be good. Can grant access to the neural chips. We probably do need something like that. Uh, we've also now got the advanced grenade launcher, which is pretty darn good. 
Um, yeah, it looks good to me. We're gonna need a specialist. That's where finally, J Pop, you make a reappearance. I'm gonna give you medical supplies and maybe the acid grenade. No, actually, I'll give you the battle scanner. Uh, Ash and Crow, you're gonna be in it too. So that leaves. We could do with some rangers. Ash and Crow's pretty cool though. Alright, you're in Ash and Crow. And Mr. Remixer, our ranger, you're gonna be in there too. So I'm gonna give you an acid grenade, and your second weapon will be Venom Rounds. And you've also got the fusion blade. Let's go to the mission. I know it's been a long preparation, but it's important. Terminal connected to the Advent network through one of their facilities in this area was left exposed by a resistance hacker during a previous intrusion attempt. We think it may be possible to recover data critical to the alien's latest operation and stop their progress, but we'll have to move fast. Advent is already working to close the connection. Remove enemy forces from the area, lock it down, and recover that data. So here we go guys, Operation Spider Dragon is a go. Now our aim in eight turns is to sh uh, download all the information from their access point. Now, I think this is going to be quite a slow episode, so if, you, if you're if you impatient and you want to skip to all the juicy stuff, then feel free. But I'm basically, I'm going to sneak up on the facility as well as I can, avoid any contact until I've hacked that thing then hopefully be in a position to have a good firefight. Now I'm still slightly upset that we still only have five soldiers in our squad, but uh, I don't know, we'll have to see how this goes. We're starting to encounter bigger and badder aliens now as well, like the Archon and I don't know, big, big berserkers. So I think I can get a route up to the access point up here without being spotted but then once we are spotted who knows what's gonna happen so this guy's capable of hacking Mr. Ashencrow so let's try and avoid the sight of this thing maybe we can sneak around this way yeah let's go let's do that alright boomer you go over here Jaws Mr. Remixer you, have, you are one of the chosen no aliens just yet. Lizzie, let's get you over here. Affirmative. So we can move everyone safely over here without being spotted by the looks of it. Now we've still got the um, the mission to use a skulljack on an advent officer as well. So that's going to be quite tricky. I don't know quite how we're going to do that. But let's keep going on our little journey up here. Let's do this. All right, glitch. Let's get everyone behind these walls. Jaws. Now, I know I'm going quite fast. It's because I kind of know where the enemy are. They're over there. As long as we can avoid them, hack this thing, then we're golden. Although the firefight promises to be quite dangerous. I suspect. Something moved over there. J-Pop spotted some movement. Oh, crikey. Let's hope they don't move too close to us, so we have to get in there. We're not actually that far away now. Cool. Right, let's use... Where is he? This guy, Glitch. We want him close. Roger that. Ash and Crow, you're going to be the man. Five turns until network shutdown. Not long to go. Good to go. Now, when I, when I do eventually encounter the aliens, I want to be in a good position as well. That's one of my concerns. No alien spotted thus far. You hear that? Yeah, I hear it, dude. Come on, squad. Let's get in there, hack that terminal, and fight off whatever enemies are within. Yeah, let's get up to that door. Right, we want... Where is he? Jaws, Action Crow, Boomer. Let's move Boomer up to the door here. On the move. Mr. Cucumber. Do you like your nickname, Mr. Cucumber? Boomer. There we go. Spotted some sectoids inside the facility. Okay. 
Now hopefully we can get inside there without being uh, without being spotted or alert without alerting anyone. Oh, there we go, an Archon and a lovely little friend of his there, a Muton. Okay, Jaws. Yeah, let's move you there. So as long as we don't move within their eye line, we're golden. J-pop. Get you behind that sign, I think. As I said, it is quite a slow build-up. But once we're inside here, we can start hacking. Oh god, they're coming. Mech. And some lovely... Is that a shield bearer? Shield bearer and probably an advent officer, I think. There we go. Yeah. The advent network is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Get to that terminal. I'm trying, Central. I'm really trying. Don't worry. All right, glitch. Can we get inside there? Let's try. Hopefully, this is not going to alert them. Hopefully. Yes, it didn't alert them. How can that not alert them? Uh, Lord Cucumber. Let's put you here. Alright, so we've got some enemies back here as well. Alright, uh, Mr. Remixer, where to put you, mate? Where to put you? They're probably going to spot us if we move all the way over there. Tell you what I might do. Put you behind the door position. here. At least you're in full cover. Lizzie. What shall I do with Lizzie? She's our sniper. Um, maybe we'll have two people out here. Maybe that might work. Put Lizzie on pistol overwatch. J-pop. Let's leave you there a second. Let's see how this pans out. Alright, they're moving towards where we are. Hopefully, I can open that door up there. Hack the terminal. And then engage these guys. Look how close they are. Holy crap, this is scary. Okay. Open the door. There we go. Now we can hack the workstation. Let's do it. Jesus, that Archon's got a lot of health. Come on, little drone. Hack this machine. Recover a small cache of supplies. 96% chance and no fail effect. A large cache of supplies. There's no fail effect there either. Should we go for the large or the small? Let's not be greedy. Let's go for the small. So we've unlocked it and yes, we get the small supply cache. I wonder how much we get for that then. Now technically if I wanted to, I could just evac out of here. Right? I don't have to fight them. Successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Oh god. They're awake. Hello, fellas. <laughs> oh, two sectoids who could potentially mind control us. That Archon deals mega damage. Oh god, and these guys are awake as well. I don't think we can fight them, can we? Why don't we just get out of here? Yeah, I might call that. Uh, Evac in. Sky Ranger, can we call it? Requesting immediate evac. Yeah. Come on. Get us out of here. Oh, dude, you can't move far enough. Holy crap. Jaws. Eh. Let's put everyone on Overwatch. We'll have one there. I think without six, this, is, this would be really difficult to do. I think I'm doing the right thing here, trying to get out like this. Can we get out there? Uh, Ash and Crow, you're in a sticky spot there, mate. Um, I guess get you behind here, but then you're going to get attacked from that side. I really have no clue what to do here. Face off. Sniper rifle. Eh... Lizzie, I guess get you focused on that mech. Six damage. 
Okay, okay. This is gonna be one dodgy evac, I tell ya. J pop. Alright, if you could if you can hit him. Yes! One down. Alright. That's not too bad. Now everyone, I need you to evac out of here. Come on. Aliens turn. Let's see what damage they're gonna deal. Alright, he's on Overwatch. That's good. Yes! And then we respond to this guy moving. But Lord Cucumber, you've missed. Come on, this next turn we can get you out of here. I'll get him next time. Shield bearer. Alright. Oh god, he's gonna stab you, Ash and Crow. He's gonna stab you. Ah. Oh crap, eight damage. Dude, you are in the worst possible spot. Come on, leave him alone. Leave him alone. I don't actually know how else to do this mission, so... Come on. Alright, there's another arch on as well. Jesus Christ. Alright, what's he up to? Blazing pinions. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? What's he doing? Whoa! Okay, not really doing anything. Phew, missed, okay. I, can't move. I don't think we would win a firefight against these, but uh, if we can survive these attacks, then we're good. Okay, Ash and Crow, by drawing some of their fire and healing you, I think I can get you out of here. So, Glitch, you go first. I mean, you get healed first. And then let's try to draw some of that fire. How can we do this? Um, let's get Lizzie to run over here. Will that activate Overwatch for them? Yes, even if we get an injury though, this is one less attack on you, Ashen Crow, as you, die, as you dash out. Yeah, Lizzie, Lizzie's doing it for the team. Good job, Lizzie. Ooh, five and three damage, but you're good, Lizzie. Go, go, go. Evac. Let's go. All right, Boomer. Now, Glitch, it's your turn. You ready to get out of there? Running. Yes, sir, I surely am. Advent officer attack. Six damage. That's all of them on Overwatch, surely. Yes, go, Ash and Crow. I'm getting you all out of here. Moving out. I don't know if I'm going to get a pick. Penalized for not killing them all, but too bad. Come on, Mr. Remixer. Run, run, run. Come on. Evac. And then J Pop for the win. So we've downloaded the automation systems design and we are out of there. I've never done this before, not actually completed all the kills that they've requested, so. Alright. Mission failed. Rating poor. No! Okay, what does that mean? We're all out of there alive. That's my main concern. So, am I going to get punished in some way? Alright, we're back aboard the Sky Ranger. But what effect has us failing the mission had? See, look, global effects, dark event encountered, Avatar Project, major breakthrough. That was good, even though it said we failed. Surely I did the right thing. No, I think I think I succeeded. Either way, we got the, it, the, the, the alien intel, and we didn't die. Okay, so now I think what I want to focus on is getting enough supplies so that I can unlock a sixth squad uh, member. So, the supplies here. Avenger plotting new course. Let's go over here. The Avatar project is still not on countdown again, so we're we're good on that score. How many supplies can we get from here? That's what I'm curious about. There's another alien facility we need to attack. Woo, the exosuit is now complete. This heavy armor combines reinforced advent plating with a powered exoskeleton, offering superior protection and damage resistance coupled with a wrist-mounted rocket launcher. Ooh, whoa, exosuit sounds awesome. 
And we've got Experimental Heavy Weapon. Although our heavy armor suits are already a formidable protective enhancement for our troops, with some additional reinforcements and a few mounting points, it's possible we could equip even more advanced wrist-mounted weaponry capable of decimating enemy positions. <gasps> that sounds pretty cool. But like I say, I do think we need that sixth squad member. Let's carry on getting our battlefield supplies. Strategic resource located. 71. Is that that's rubbish? Was that's a nice picture though. In spring of 2015, human military forces engaged one of the first alien battleships in the skies over this area. The civilian populace below was devastated during the ensuing battle. We deployed teams to sweep for possible salvage, and they returned with a number of resources found scattered throughout the area. Ooh, cool. Black market. We kind of need to make contact in other areas. But like I say, we do need to do this mission down in Chile. Let's go there and check that out. So we have to sabotage an alien facility. The aliens have constructed a facility deep in the wilderness. Ah, uh, we can't do that yet. We need more supplies. Let me go back and see if I can now unlock that sixth squad member. Um, Guerrilla tactics schools in there. Combat tactics. Yeah, it is. We can do it. Squad size, 75 supplies. Sweet. What's this? Sharpsuit, a bonus 10% chance to critically hit enemies. <sighs> but I do want the exoskeleton thing. New orders, Let's take a look at that. Armor. Hey, where is it? Advanced sight amp. Channels the user's psionic energy. Yeah, okay. So how do I build that exoskeleton armor? Maybe they already have it. Probably could have saved a lot of time repairing the ship's systems if we had any idea how to translate their language. Ooh. Let's take a look. We don't come <gasps> exosuit! So the Predator armor gives us 9 plus 4, the exosuit gives us 9 plus 5, and armor. Well, why wouldn't everyone wear that? Look at that! The EXO armor suit gives our soldiers the power they need to handle heavy weapons with the durability to match. That is freaking sweet. Maybe maybe only the heavies can use that though. Let me check. If I can get everyone wearing it, then I will. Load out. Predator armor. Ah, it looks like only the heavies. Yeah, okay. Well, either way, that's a distinct step up from what we had before. So, Lord Cucumber's got it. Let's check out this guy. See, he's not wearing it either. What? There's only one we can wear? Hey, that's not fair. Alright, I think that's a good place to leave the episode. We've done quite well. Even though it said we failed, I think we succeeded. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and join me tomorrow for the next episode. Bye-bye.